Hello, I'm Dr. Crystal Mercia for Contemporary Pediatrics. I'm joined today by Dr. Jay Kim, an Associate Clinical Professor of Pediatrics at the University of California, San Diego. Dr. Kim specializes in neonatal health and nutrition. Dr. Kim, in your presentation at the American Academy of Pediatrics National Conference, you discussed research supporting skin-to-skin -skin contact between a mother and an infant. Why is skin-to-skin -skin contact important for newborns? Hi, Crystal. Well, the first uh, few minutes of life after birth is a wonderful experience that infants have in making first contact with their mother. This initial contact is obviously uh, naturally meant to be a bare skin-to-skin -skin interface, and research shows that this interaction is very complex on multiple levels. The infant interacts at, uh, in a multisensorial manner by having all the sort of senses activated, in particular uh, the infant's sense of smell, uh, stabilization of, of temperature and touch, and have some signaling for the infant to actually be attracted to where first feeding takes place uh, from mother's breasts. What sort of clinical benefit does this translate to for the infant? The benefits of skin-to-skin -to, -skin to the infant are many. Uh, in particular, uh, research has shown that infants are able to maintain a very stable uh, body temperature, in fact, better than if you were to wrap up the baby. Um, on top of that, there's a, a, a unique stabilization of heart rate and blood pressure to cal and a calming, overall calming effect on, on the infant. Um, and then more, more, more importantly, um, evidence shows that having uh, early breastfeeding is really critical, particularly with uh, ingestion of colostrum as first feed. And babies are really programmed to be able to um, uh, attract themselves to a mother's breast uh, in order to succeed at getting uh, that first feeding. So we typically think of skin-to-skin -skin contact as being important immediately after birth, but are there other time points at which it may also be beneficial? Absolutely. Skin-to-skin um, -skin contact is really critical in the first few minutes of life, or what we call the golden hour uh, right after birth. But in fact, skin-to-skin -skin contact is a really natural thing that should actually be uh, progressive throughout the initial a uh, few days of a baby's life after birth. Um, in particular, there's an area of medicine where we have babies born who are premature who really uh, lack a lot of the physical contact that uh, normal healthy term babies get. And in this context, uh, in the NICU, we really encourage a significant amount of skin-to-skin -skin, skin -skin contact from parents and their infants to really improve uh, the overall physiologic health, and studies demonstrate that infants actually grow better when they have this uh, human touch. So many of our listeners are community-based pediatricians. What can they do to advocate skin-to-skin -skin contact for newborns? Yes, I think community-based pediatricians have a wonderful role in being able to advocate for skin-to-skin -skin contact early on in the hospitals that they attend deliveries to um, and even in those uh, where they are examining newborns and try and encourage uh, parents to be able to uh, have more and more skin-to-skin -skin, skin -skin contact after, after birth. Uh, a lot of times babies are born through a cesarean section and this presents a lot of uh, artificial interruptions in being able to establish good skin-to-skin -skin contact. So general pediatricians have a great role in being able to um, advocate for making it easier for babies to have this uh, wonderful contact early on with their mothers. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Kim, for sharing your insights with us. This has been Dr. Crystal Mercia for Contemporary Pediatrics.